Yes guys, what's up? So it's your boy Sham here from Be Real Boxing, aka Be Real TV, and this is my boy. T Street Controversy, T Street Controversy live with uh, RealCombatMedia.com. Hope everyone's all good. So the reason me and T Street we're doing this video together is hopefully you're gonna be seeing a lot more of these videos to come, and we are gonna collaborate um, for for quite a long time, hopefully. And uh, I'll let T Street explain to you what we're going to be doing a little bit more in depth and yeah t Street, do you want to take it um okay so basically to put things into perspective to uh simplify them a little bit what we're going to be doing is spreading awareness and basically building that bridge all the way from the uk over here to the united states so for example if a guy like um luke campbell comes over here to fight in atlantic city we want to make sure our job is to make sure that those fighters are known on a global platform because surprisingly like if you're over in the UK it's it's hard um, to get you guys to understand that over here in the United States it is extremely difficult too difficult for us to watch your fights for example to watch a Chris Eubank Jr. a Tyson Fury um, a Martin Murray you know which is a fight that's coming up so to, to basically in a nutshell even though two separate entities what we're going to be doing is over on the UK, we're going to be spreading awareness together. So therefore, there's going to be times where you're going to hear me talking to him. There's going to be times where we're going to be sharing videos. There's going to be a time where you're going to see interviews on my channel. There's going to be a time when you're going to see interviews on his channel. But at the same thing, we're going to have one sep we're going to have one goal, but two separate entities. So you have to be a business mind to understand how big um, this is. Because on my side, of course, with all the UK boxing that I cover, I was I, I didn't have a link to the UK. But now, if you don't know, um, I'm going to be joining Sky Sports Toe to Toe podcast with uh, Spencer Farron. And basically what that is, is the largest um, boxing podcast in the world. So you can look at Sky Sports for um, American fans to be the ESPN of the world basically now only Americans will really understand that but over here remember in the United States we don't have Scott so what that's going to be doing is every week we're going to be talking about the uh, boxing news you know there's going to be interviews etc but on a video standpoint on a YouTube that's when me and that's where me and Sham are going to play an intricate role in doing something that's never been done before on 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 a YouTube scale so as time moves on, you're going to start seeing major advancements, uh, major advancements on both of our parts, and what you're going to see is something that you probably never thought you would ever see before, if that makes sense. So I like to be a little cryptic sometimes, but um, right now I'm thinking it's um, it's more it's more beneficial for us to start introducing ourselves. So for the people who are seeing this video for the first time, um, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Oh, I'm sole owner operator of Ent um, I was going to say Entito. So on an operator of T-Street Controversy, T-Street Controversy Live, um, video reporter for RealCombatMedia.com. And basically what I do is, as of right now, I attend all the major boxing events on the Upper East Coast. So I've been um, Bernard Hopkins versus uh, Sergey Kovalev, Eric Hunter versus Rene Alvarado. I'll most likely be going to Danny Garcia versus um, Lamont Peterson. And then on the undercard, Peter Quillen or Andy Lee, Peter Quillen. And um, then April the 25th, I'm going to be going to uh, Vladimir uh, Klitschko versus Brian Jennings. And what I'll be doing is I'll be providing you coverage for the press conferences, providing you coverage for the media days, um, the open workouts, interviews, post-fight press conference, actual live fight footage, and basically doing um, what it is that a reporter is supposed to do. So even though I'm brand new, somewhat in, in in the media field still I've learned a lot and as you can see my uh, content proves to uh, um, to show so so um Sam I know I'm rambling a little bit but it's very exciting to be perfectly honest with you because the um, the um, like the, the there's no roof the sky's the limit now yeah I think uh, f thanks for thanks for explaining everything to our viewers like I think you guys will have understood a little bit more about why we're getting together but let me just like try and add a few things on there if I can and I'll be re repeating a few things but let me try add a few a few bits and bats on you see T Street has been has been on YouTube for quite a while he covers all major boxing events all of them T Street's been on box uh, on YouTube 
for a lot longer than I have. Um, and T Street has two thousand and ten from YouTube. And I think when T Street when when T Street left uh, entered the arena and he's now switched onto his new channel, I think it's very apparent what sort of following T Street brings and. And because everyone shifted over from into the arena, and and slowly, slowly they're coming on to 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 T Street's personal new channel. And I think, I think it's a great thing that T Street's been been on YouTube for such a long time. And me myself, I've got advantages. T Street's got advantages. And I think when we bring both of our both of ourselves together, and we're able to we're able to bring you guys a little bit a little bit better stuff in terms of um, in terms of not just fight coverage, but in terms of analysis and other things because. Like I says, I mean, I'm based up in in the UK. T Street's in America, and to one of the, the fastest growing channel, one of the fastest growing boxing channels, if not the fastest growing boxing channel over in the UK. And then right now, I'm holding it down over here in the states. So you would think it would make sense to, um, you know, as far as business is concerned, to to collaborate. So, yeah. So the thing is this, right? That I've only been around for since May 2014. I officially opened Be Real TV, and I'm introduced myself to you guys. I've done interviews with uh, Tyson Fury, I've done interviews with Keith Thurman, Brandon Rios, Amir Khan, Deontay Wilder, um, several UK-based fighters, uh, more domestic scene. In, in Of all the British fighters, the domestic scene, we've covered several different fighters. And I think with my connections in boxing world, which are fast, which, which are growing very rapidly, and T-Street, obviously T-Street's been around a lot longer, he has more coverage than I do. And we're growing at a at a rapid rate, and I think like there's different people tend to just look at them, just tend to look at what your YouTube views are, and there are other channels in the UK who are gonna get a lot of viewership, and I think there's a lot of channels who have a lot of subscribers, but that isn't the only way in which you grow, and I think I think you guys will see in the next coming months, maybe about three four months, I think you guys are going to see what exactly I'm trying to portray to you guys and what I'm trying to explain because it's difficult to explain the behind the scenes stuff to you guys. So much I've been going away on. for quite a long time. I've not done many analysis videos um, of recent and I've been behind the scenes and trust me, I've been working very hard. It's not just me. Um, my team has been working very hard so we can set up the foundation because if, you know, like, like they say, if you haven't got a strong foundation, then the building's going to collapse. And if you've got a strong foundation, then you can weather the, you can weather several storms. And I think that's the way like I've conducted myself is that I'm trying to build myself a solid foundation. I mean, I could have done several analysis videos. I could do five videos a day and just bang them out and get them out to you guys. But what 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 does that mean? That means that yeah, I'm gonna get more subscribers. Yeah, I'm gonna get more views. But my foundation won't be set. And it's just gonna be me just trying to do stuff. Whereas the way I'm trying to do it is through teamwork, collaborating with people, and and I'm collaborating with T Street now. And I think that. With the connections that I've got in the boxing world, with the way that I'm running my thing and the way that T Street's running his his thing, as we join together, and I and I'm not, I'm not just talking about interviews and and that I'm going to be providing footage to T Street or T Street's going to be providing stuff to me. It's I think it's a great thing what we're doing because globally, um, I think I think we're going to advance a lot faster than other people are in the boxing world simply because we've joined up and and we're we're conducting. In 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 a merged venture, whereas other people are trying to do it by themselves, and it is proved and it proves it's proving quite difficult. You guys might not be able to see it, but we I've heard a lot of stuff in you know behind the scenes with what's going on with a lot of other people's channels, and you'd be surprised. You know all that glitter ain't gold, and um, I'm hoping that Minor T Street's venture will prove successful. Uh, well, as far as um worth work ethic, then you know we have nothing to be um concerned about because that's what it's about on YouTube. It's really like. People think that um, it's easy to do the videos. It may be to an extent, but the behind the scenes work for your channel is, as he said, building a foundation. When I went on my own back in um, July uh, the 28th, 2014, um, I was literally maybe up. I probably slept, I can honestly God say I probably slept for less than 30 hours in one month. Because very, very quickly I said, you know what, I'm on my own and now I got to build that foundation before I can actually start working comfortably. I finally finished building my brand to where it wants to be. I mean, where I want it to be last month. So as far as uh, social media, you know, you can find me on Vine. You can find me on um, um, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Tumblr, Pinterest, and basically every single social media platform. Also, I have a partnership, a Disney partner, uh, sponsored um, YouTube channel. Also, the website, realcombatmedia.com, and more importantly, the press credentials. But see, people don't understand. They think they're going to start getting on YouTube and um, just do videos, and, and it'll be just easy for them to just start getting to fight, fights fight, and everything. Fight. No. I, I welcome anyone. 
to try and do what we do because we get a lot of uh, criticisms. Uh, sorry, a lot of criticism. Um, I think like people who because you've got two sides to this boxing coverage right now. You've got the people who are doing the analysis videos, and there's a few channels, major channels out there who are doing very well, and, and I rate them. And then you've got the people who are going out and doing the graft and getting the interviews, and and obviously they're very large channels as well, um, a lot bigger than the analysis section. But what me and T Street are trying to do is is really try to join both together and do both and, and bring you... Yet yeah, we are going to have two separate channels and we will have crossover content where some of my content is going to appear on T-Streets, T-Streets is going to appear on mine. But the thing is, we're trying to create something to bring you guys a really, a really, really good product, overall end product, and you're going to get lots of stuff, um, lots of analysis videos, lots of interviews, and hopefully we will get to where we want to be because we've got an, I've got an image in my head where I want my channel to be, and I've spoken to T Street, and our ideas flow because I've received offers to join people, um, do things with certain people, but I didn't want to because I didn't feel comfortable working with them. Whereas T Street, I feel comfortable working with T Street, and we've spoken, and our our views and our ethics go hand in hand. So, as he uh, talked about earlier, you, you'll really, in the next three to four months, and um, definitely before you know May and you know what's supposed to happen, you're going to see um, or, or have an idea, a solid idea of what it is that we're trying to do. Um, and what it is that we're trying to do has not been um, ventured into you know, as 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 the way that we're going to try to, as, as far as um making sure we crawl before we try to start running. So, um, as far as the state of boxing right now, we have to also talk about like what we do, like how what we do is good for the sport. You know, and it's good for the sport is because we want to make sure that on a global scale, we're spreading awareness. So you, so right right now, you have Be Real TV covering. All the major events over in the UK, you know, and, and we're talking and we're talking about, you know, analysis, spreading awareness. Now, the interviews and the press conferences and stuff like that, we want to make sure that people understand that you don't have to be going out there and be and, and in the gyms every single day. But as long as you're using um, the content that you have to um, to to as a foundation for your analysis videos, then it'll run hand in hand. But over in the UK. They need, well, you guys over there, you need someone to help as far as um, spreading awareness so a guy like Kel Brook doesn't come over here to the States, you know, and, and, and be called, you know, that word, that a, a bomb. So as far as the good of the sport is concerned, boxing needs to be covered on a global scale. So therefore, when American fighters go overseas, they'll be known. And when those, and then when um, non-American fighters come over here, they'll be known. Now, in America, we have a long way to go because over in the UK, um, you guys have stuff like Box Nation and Sky Sports. But with Box Nation, you get to see all of your UK Frank Warren fights, but then American fights as well, to whereas over here, we have no choice. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't have the, um, we don't have um, you know, Sky Sports or access to Box Nation or something like that. And I understand why, because of the business in. But right now, the sport is, people are saying the sport of boxing is dying. But then you look at a guy like me that can do massive views on a Carl Fritz versus George Groves 1 and 2, you know, same views on, on YouTube that I would do on, you know, maybe a Mayweather or Adrian Broner fight. But then you think like how if a guy comes over here, he's got to be scratching and clawing to try to get the fight in Las Vegas. You know, none of it makes sense to me. But um, but as far as um, moving on in the future, I just want boxing fans to understand, you know, if you're watching, whether it's my channel or Be Real, understand that behind the scenes, we're communicating, we're working and we're making sure that we are aware of what is needed and also, you know, in touch with basically the fan base. So we're not going to be, you know, some people that people are saying, oh, no, you're doing this wrong or you should be doing more of this and not actually, even though we may not agree, but we'll actually be, you know, analyzing and saying, OK, maybe we should or shouldn't I try this? Because for one, both of the channels are realistically YouTube are, suppo are supposed to be for the people, you know, and also for the good of the sport of boxing. And then, of course, you know, you want to make sure, you know, you're bringing in some revenue. But at the same time, if you're doing something that you love, you know, then it should be no reason why um, you shouldn't be giving your all. Yo, on, on that, right, I think, like, T-Street, what T-Street is talking about and everything he's saying, I think it's right up your, 
up your alley because T Street loves to talk about the business end of things, what's currently going on with boxing, whereas me, I'm a person I like to talk about what's going on in the ring. So the part that I'm looking forward to the most is talking about boxing with T Street and we are going to be doing a lot of analysis videos together hopefully in the future and yeah one of the topics is going to be Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao and you know what I, I was thinking to myself T Street I think like a lot of fans like crit critique what we do like uh, you've been called uh, a Pacquiao nut hugger I've been critiqued about Amir Khan and we get a lot of criticism about a lot of different things so I think it would be interesting to address them issues um where we where we where we can attack you we could talk like in terms of like what what the fans are saying we could read out I can read out some comments about you you can read out some comments about me and, get, and then we can have a chance to address them issues and, and you see um and that's a perfect point right there I like even even though I can talk about the technical end of things as far as inside of the ring that doesn't suit me personally, and it's not necessarily something that I find pleasure in, unless I'm talking about it with someone else. But doing the videos, I like to focus on um, the business end of things. I like to focus on, you know, the storylines and letting you know, um, letting you guys know why certain fights are happening, and also educating you overall on the fighters, the fighters' mannerisms, um, who they are inside and outside the ring. To whereas in over on Be Real, uh, one of the last videos um, uh, he released, it was. Um, what was it? Uh, one of the greatest um, um, defensive boxers of all time. It was Floyd Mayweather. So, so basically, you know, over there, you'll have a, you'll you'll get a lot more tech, um, technical analysis to where it's in on me. Yeah, I'll do it every now and then. Usually, I do that usually the day or the week of the fight, but to each his own. But at the same time, what you're going to be getting, you're going to be getting the best of both worlds. So, therefore, if you want to actually um, you know, know the inside of the ring details, and then right there, that's where you go, Be Real TV. Exactly, I mean, I think it's going to be really interesting because what we're talking about right now, this is up T Street's Ali talking about the business aspect of things, because me, I understand business and I know how to move forward and build stuff, but talking about the boxing world and talking about moving forward in terms of what's going on in the boxing world, T Street's really up to date with everything what's going on, whereas me, I'm quite busy because if you were to ask me, T Street, right now, what's going on in the British scene, if you were to ask me what's going on in America, I might not know a lot of things. T Street is very up to date with that stuff because I've got a lot going on, but what I like to, because for me to be able to get people to go out to do interviews with, with, with Matchroom Boxing, with Frank Warren, with them, um, and we, we're getting, jumping on with a few other promoters as well. For me to be able to um, delegate all my people to go out and, and carry out them interviews and to do all the behind the scenes stuff and to produce the videos and edit and you know whether it's Photoshop, whether it's uh, the video editing, I do a lot of that behind the scenes stuff and I think like for me like it's difficult to keep up to date with exactly what's going on in the boxing world but what I always love to do if you give me a fighter you say to me yo who do you think would win out of Mayweather and Pacquiao obviously the biggest fight in boxing I like to analyze the different aspects of that fight and T Street will be able to tell you exactly what's going on behind the scenes in terms of negotiations what he's hearing with his connections in the US um, and what's going on with Al Heyman and things like that so I think it's really interesting bringing both of them together and you guys are like T Street said gonna get the best of both worlds um right now I mean I guess we pretty much um, covered as far as uh, what we plan on doing and uh, providing and realistically the only way you'll be able to fully understand is for us to show you which is being fully implemented right now you know um, after the uh, the publishing of this video so I guess um, I mean where 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 should is there anything else we should um, address no I just think stay tuned you are guy you guys are gonna be seeing crossover things um, I'm growing as a channel, T Street's growing as a channel, and I think, especially, I just want to say something, with my channel, I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes, which you guys are now going to see the fruits of my labor, everything I've been doing behind the scenes, all the stuff I've been setting up, is just about now getting ready to where I can launch the shuttle, whereas before I was doing all the building work, doing all the stuff um, to just make sure that it, it launches right, and now hopefully you guys are going to see my channel skyrocket with T Street, um, yeah, man, like, let's just hope and everybody pray that, that this is successful and that me and T-Street don't end up having a fight and uh, it all goes smoothly. Yeah, so, um, be sure to um, subscribe to both channels, T-Street Controversy Live. You type it in your Google bar, I mean, or your Google or your um, YouTube, it'll pop right up. Be Real TV, you know, um, I, I, I type it in, you know, space, be space, ball, real, you know, and then TV. He pops right up there at the top. Um, you're going to be seeing me, um... And um, my colleagues, you know, uh, my team over at uh, T Street Controversy Live and Real Combat Media, we're going to be sharing 
um, Be Real TV's videos the same frequency as I'll be sharing my own and basically uh, growing from there. So you can follow me on Twitter at T Street Controversy. You can follow me on Instagram at T Street Controversy. You can like me on uh, Facebook at T Street Controversy. Send me a friend request at T Street Controversy. Uh, Tumblr, Pinterest, basically anywhere you type in on Google, T Street Controversy Live. And I will put up our contact details, guys. And you know what it is? I think, like, T-Street's got a lot of followers on, on Facebook. My followers on Twitter, like, over, what, I think it's about 10K at the moment. Sham underscore Ayub. Um, I just think, like, it's going to be a great thing because as we merge together and we're posting each other's videos on, on, on all our social networks, you guys, you guys are going to be the ones who benefit because not everyone's got Facebook. Not everyone's got Twitter. Not everybody's got Instagram. People have a bit of everything. And I think, yeah, man, I think it's going to be really good. So pray for us, guys.